Hi guys, so I just made a video on how to install FreeKI and FreeTrade, but somehow the voice wasn't um, like capturing properly. So I just I just want to like replay the video on YouTube and like walk you guys through what I was doing. Okay, uh, let me just mute it. Okay, so let's see. Okay. so i'm um, like talking about uh, how we can get started by going through this uh, by first going through the link here picktrade.io and then making sure that you have um, python 3.8 greater than any python version 3.8 installed there and then just update your environment if you're in a linux or if you are not on linux if you're using windows you can just install like uh, python and then install uh, like just uh, just you know clone the repository and but i would recommend to use linux but if you're not it's also fine you can do the same thing in windows because it's purely based on python and so yeah it's good so after that you know we are installing some dependency over here and now uh, it's going to install all the dependencies um and then we're gonna go to our fig trade the first we're gonna clone the repository the github repository of fig trade so we are actually cloning this uh, um github repository here right they have new release 12 hours ago so now we go to that directory and then we check out that we are actually in a develop branch of Fricted repository and then all we got to do is that run our setup.sh and I this flag i so that it installs all the libraries okay and let me just fast forward it because install it taking some time to compile the TLE then what it's asking us to do is here is that do we wanna it's ask us to like do you want to install dependencies for there so we're just you know saying yes to uh, every dependencies for plotting for hyper op and for free ki which is quite important and after entering yes it will install all the, all the like essential libraries say like pandas ta which is quite important for our use case tla right so yeah after this installation we will see that it has installed all the cat boost and all the libraries there and then we can go ahead so after that we will see this completion and then we can just go ahead and activate our environment there okay so we are going to dot env directory and then bin and then activating the environment afterwards what we are going to do is we are going to run an example here and uh, for which I'm gonna go to free ki okay shortly here okay uh, free ki and then we are going to go to uh, like introduction to free ki and then actually run the example there okay so we are going to introduction then um, we are going to this we're gonna copy this and then yeah so it's just pasted and it will start training okay now yeah, see what happens if i uh, after entry see it started the downloading the data and it will actually start training the model okay now right now don't worry about the which if we can model we are using it's just the regressor model okay it's to test our installation is correct and in the future i'll be going through more complex building more complex systems okay so yeah it's training and uh, after that i i'm gonna show you here i'm showing i'll be showing you how to like edit your config file so that you can view on the uh, you know ui of big trade so i'm going there and uh, adding this uh, uh, 
the, this API server okay this API server which is enabled through this an IP address which you can get it from um, like you which you can get it from around here I uh, see this one trick UI here um, I just copied it and pasted it there okay so after copying it open the visual studio code from your directory by code dot which means current direct current directory and then go to the config example afterwards so I'm actually running it first running the same command over there and then uh, okay, first I'm gonna go and um, you know edit our config file okay so at last you can add your, con your api server details there and you can put any api server okay you can deploy it on cloud and put that ip address even you can give it a domain name if you will and here um, i'll be changing some username and password right you can do the same okay and so after that and password is any any password you can give it okay i'm just giving username as money farmer and password as money farming and then i'm gonna start the the trick trade trade which will you know um so it's gonna use uh see here it's gonna use our freak ai example strategy okay and uh, we are using light gbm regressor model here and yeah and we are using this config file so it's gonna start training shortly and then we can go ahead and you know enter those uh, url localhost dot at okay and then we can go ahead and uh, enter our bot name the mortal ai trading system and uh, enter the username as money farmer and password as money farming okay see it, it is training in the background here and we can see it on the front end as well and front end pretty front end is pretty interesting you can go to general there see these logs right you can see all these logs here all right and uh, also what you can do is see it is tossing the data points which is like outliers using svm okay it, it has gathered like this much training points and then it creating the data okay for training and uh, actually started will actually start training the model okay so we can go to dashboard and monitor our trade here as it's i as i have deployed right now it's not enter any trade so you can what you can do you can also monitor your trades here in this chart you can toggle kanashi candlestick if you'd like and you can also add some plotting to this uh, to this system here right here it is plotting the do predict if there is 100 percent probability that the trade is right then it will plot one so it kind of like a signal plot where one will come so it will plot one the signal would be like this 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 there okay then yeah you can add another plot as well from your system which we're gonna see in the future of course um and now you can also go ahead to this charting uh, tab here where you can monitor particular uh, trade quite clean in a clean way by the way so you can go to algo usdt and see how the chart looks where the trade is taking place and uh, you can also toggle the you know uh, the theme of the bot which is i think my favorite one and see how much cooler it looks <laughs> so 
speak um, 